I'm Steve Goldsworthy, Managing Director of ZipClip. ZipClip is a manufacturer of commercial wire suspension systems designed for supporting and bracing mechanical and electrical services. Established in Newtown since 2004, with only three members of staff, we support local and international business. In 2008, when the recession hit hard, the business had to make some drastic changes to its strategy. Within the first quarter of 2008, Zipcut lost 30% of its UK business due to the recession. It was at this point that our commercial bank manager said we should diversify and seek new business overseas. We believe we had an exportable product because we'd already been exporting to Ireland for the past two years. In the early stages of starting up our company, we approached the Welsh Assembly for a start-up grant. As Zip Clipper manufacturers, this was recognised by our trade advisor, and at this stage, funding was discussed for Zipclip to explore overseas business. Therefore, the obvious choice when we needed to start exporting and looking for new opportunities, we went back to our trade advisor within the Welsh Assembly. In 2008, we began the journey by receiving funding to participate in an exhibition in Dubai as one of the companies on the Wales trade stand at the Big Five exhibition. This was combined with an ITO project which helped assist us with the market research and meeting itinerary to introduce our, us to potential distributors and end clients. As a result of the Big Five exhibition, we were privileged to meet a number of international companies who were already involved within the construction industry and were looking for new innovative products to enhance their own product range. Subsequently, we visited Australia with another Wales trade mission, which was again supported by an ITO programme. We are pleased to say that the consequence of this was a partnership with an Australian company and Zipclip Australia was formed. In 2007, I visited a friend in Dubai who was heavily involved in the construction industry, which was booming at the time. He recommended we should be trading in the Middle East. In 2008, when we were given the opportunity to exhibit at the Big Five exhibition with Trade Wales International, we decided to explore the potential of a global market. We didn't write an export plan, we utilised our business plan we were applying in the UK and actively looked for distributors that embraced our business ethic and drive to develop an exciting and innovative product and that were already immersed in the construction industry. Zipclip's success has always been through a distribution network, but in some countries like the Lebanon we have worked with direct sales organisations. As in the GCC countries, the product has to be specified to be accepted. This was only found out when we approached the market on an ITO programme. We had to change from using standard pallets to crates, and for many markets a reinforced crate was necessary to ensure the products arrived undamaged. To address the distributor problem, we commissioned an ITO to identify potential distributors from electromechanical companies that we could do business with. Our export market is now worth 40% of our overall turnover, which has given us more of a global presence and credibility. In 2011, we opened Zipclip France to service our European partners. As a result, we have involved to a company employing a dedicated French-speaking export manager. We are now a leaner company. As the business has grown, so have many local companies that service and supply Zipclip, who have also now benefited from our success. In 2012, we developed a UL certificated seismic bracing system. This is designed for safeguarding people within earthquake affected countries. This evolved through trading with our biggest competitor's customer in India. Our biggest concern was cultural difficulties and language barriers, but we were pleasantly surprised to find that most of the countries we were targeting spoke English, and countries where they didn't speak English, an interpreter was provided via the ITO programme. This was prevalent in the Czech Republic. The UK market is very volatile and without the opportunity of working with overseas companies we could not sustain our growth and therefore put jobs at risk. I would highly recommend using a research marketing company. Trade missions and ITO programmes, without this, Zipclip would not be where it is today.